situation that's in the media right now was an abandonment and it was not a safe surrender. The Grove Creek medical team found the baby girl's body on October 13th in a safe haven box in Blackfoot. The infant had been deceased long before it was put into the safe haven baby box. Idaho passed legislation to allow safe haven boxes in 2024, which states a safe haven box can be used if the baby is under 30 days old. The custodial parents drop off the baby and they have no intent to return the child. Now, this is a last resort option for parents. So if they can't do a parenting plan or they can't do an adoption plan and they can't walk into that facility and hand that child to a person, we want them to choose a safe haven baby box and save the life of their child. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case in this situation. Senator Julie Van Orden worked on the bill for the GEM state. Boxes are to there to receive healthy, live, you know, unharmed infants. Police in Twin Falls and Blackfoot are currently investigating whether they'll seek to file any criminal charges. Across the U.S., 19 states have safe haven boxes, but the Blackfoot box is the only one in Idaho. Earlier this month marked the first time that that box was used. Currently, we have not had a safe surrender. Grove Creek Medical Plaza doesn't have cameras near the safe haven box because it's meant to provide an anonymous option for parents. It is not our goal to um, see who the mother is. We want to have a place for those scared, um, oftentimes young moms, to be able to take those, take a baby, um, and pretty much give this child up for adoption because they know that that's probably a better option than anything that they could give to that child at that point. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.